From the start, I wanted everyone to see Dave for the man he is. Not just a police officer, but a loving husband, wonderful father, devoted son, protective brother, an all-round kind, genuine man. We often had conversations about the lack of respect for the police. The uniform used to re represent a figure of authority within the community, but as time has gone on, it seemed to myself and Dave that that same un uniform has become a target for criminals to abuse. Just walking along the street, Dave was regularly spat at, assaulted and sworn at, and so on. He was a man just doing his job. However, since Dave has been taken from us, I have received so much support from the public all over the community and beyond and it's given me hope that the police are still respected and thought of highly. I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for all the kind words, letters, cards, gifts and donations. I feel completely overwhelmed by it all and it's helped me through this terrible dark time. I have kept every single card and letter so when my girls are older they can read them and see how loved and respected their daddy was. My girls will be raised knowing that there is more good in this world than bad. Thank you. This morning, the jury returned a verdict of guilty of manslaughter, thus drawing a line under five and a half months of torment we've all had to endure at the hands of Williams. We feel we have some justice for Dave. My mother and father would have loved to have been here to see their son's killer sent to prison, but unfortunately the stress and upset of this whole scenario has meant that for their own health they've had to stay away. I would like to extend our most sincere thanks to Mr Ian Unsworth and Mr Henry Riding, for the detectives and policemen and women of the Merseyside Police, the CPS and especially our family liaison officers, who've worked so hard and professionally with boundless dedication to achieve this result. Although Williams has been sentenced to 20 years, it is our families, both adults and children, who will have a life sentence handed to us, spending the rest of our lives without Dave. The family has said on many occasions that we were and still are overwhelmed by the outstanding support we have received from the public. So I make no apologies for repeating these most grateful thanks to you now, but ask also that we are given time and space to allow us to grieve and try to come to terms with all that has happened over these last months. Thank you.